Okay, welcome back to ENG 460 uh, Computer Architecture. And last time we uh, did this simple program here that loaded two registers and uh, did the uh, add operation. It added the contents of T1 to the contents of T2 and stored the results in T3. And notice these were both positive numbers, so they, uh, it does 32-bit addition. Well, let's modify this up a little bit and uh, take a look at uh, some other other cases here. Um, let's see. Here I am doing uh, two um, adding two positive numbers. Why don't we change this up a little bit? And what we'll do is we will add. Um, well, let's well, let's actually show a carry first. Quad zero quad F, and what I will do is I will add that to quad 0, 0, 0, 0 1. Yeah, so now I'm going to add um, quad F to 1, and that should give me a carry, and it should give me 0, 0, 0 1 quad 0. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Let's save this. Uh, let's go back, and we can reinitialize simulator, and then I will load test.s. And there it is. There's what we did last time. And then now what I did is I did a load immediate. I put quad 0, quad F into T1, and then I put quad 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 into T2, and I add those, and I should get a carry. So let's hit the F10 key. I'm going to hit the F10 key and step through this. All right, so we just loaded, should have loaded quad 1 into T1. Now we're going to load quad 2 into T2. Now we're going to add T1 to T2, and the result's going to be in T3. So let's go back and double check this. We did this last time. Loaded quad 1, loaded quad 2. We added them. It's um, th quad 3. Now what I want to do is I want to press F10 again to single step through. And if you don't remember, you can click up here, single step F10. Okay. So I'm going to hit F10. And now what I'm going to do is load quad 0, quad F into T1. All right, let's double check that. There is T1, and it's quad 0, quad F. Notice it doesn't show the... Um, the um, you know the the zeros out the leading zeros right it just shows the non-zero values. All right, well let's see now what I'm going to do is I'm going to load quad zero one into T two. Let's double check that. Okay, T two has quad zero 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 one, so it doesn't show the leading zeros. But notice T three still has the previous value. All right. Well now at this point I'm going to add quad zero quad f to quad zero one and see what happens. Well, if I add quad 0, quad F to 1, that 1, F plus 1 is a 0 with a carry, uh, which is um, a 0 with a carry, which is a 0 with a carry, which is 0 with a carry, and we're going to get that carry 1 bit over here in the uh, least digit of the upper nibble. Okay, so let's take a look and see what happened to F3, or T3, and there you go. Yeah, we took quad F, we added 1 to it, and we got 1 quad 0. Now go up here to registers and uh, change this to decimal. Okay, quad F is 64K, or 65536. I add 1 to 65536, and I get 65, or 65535. I add 1, I get 65536. And uh, if you want to go to binary, all right, you know, you added 1 to quad F, quad F, and you got that number right there. Makes a little more sense in decimal, doesn't it? And then if you go back to hex, you've added quad F to 1. All right, let's... um. Uh, let's see, let's continue on. We hit F10, and then says call, and notice it doesn't do anything, but if I hit it again, it'll um, take me to the top and rerun the program. Well, let's uh, modify this uh, file to do something a little bit different now. So in the first case, we added two positive numbers. Here we added some numbers that had a carry. Let's, um, let's do this. All right, let's... Um, And we'll put these uh, three lines in here, but instead, let's change this guy to quad F, quad F. And let's change this guy to 2, all right? Now, what's happening there? Well, what value is quad F, quad F? Okay, that's 32 bits. They're all 1s. But you've got to remember, everything's done in 2's complement in a computer. Notice the most significant bit is set to 1, so this is a negative number. So quad F quad F in 2's complement is what? Well, flip it, flip the bits and add 1. If I flip the bits, they're all 0. If I add 1, it's a 1. So quad F quad F is negative 1. 
Okay, so we've got negative 1 here. And then if we look at this guy, well, the most significant bit isn't set, so we have a positive 2. So now I am going to add a negative 1 to a positive 2, which should give me a positive 1. All right, let's save that. Let's go back up to here. Simulator, reinitialize, and recent file. Open that guy. Okay, here's the code I just added. Okay. And then we are going to uh, put 2 there and then add. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit F10 and step all the way through until I get to the interesting stuff. Now at this point right here, I'm going to load T1 with quad F quad F. What's currently in T1? Okay, T1 has quad F from the previous code. All right, so I am going to hit F10. And I should have put quad F quad F into T1. Let's double check to see if we did. And, um, no. Doesn't look like it's there yet. Oh, I haven't got to go one step further. Yeah, now see, this guy is a pseudo command, and it actually translates to two real MIPS commands. So you got to hit F10 twice. Now at this point, it should be in T1. And there it is. T1 has quad F, quad F. Right. Now if I hit F10 again, I should have loaded the register T2 with 2. All right, let's check that out. And there you go. T2 has 2. T1 has quad F, quad F. So I'm going to add negative 1 to 2, which should give me a positive 1. Now let's go back and do that. If I add a negative 1 to a 2, I should get a positive 1. And let's go see what T3 is equal to. And there you go. Negative 1 plus 2 is, in fact, a positive 1. And we just did a negative number. Got to remember, everything's in 2's complement. All right, let's add two negative numbers and see what happens. Okay. Let's add two negative numbers. So let's come along here and copy that part of the code, and we'll paste it into here. Uh, let's do this. What if I do, what if I put a quad F, and then I do FFFC? What number is that? Well, the most significant bit is set, so it's a negative number. If I flip the bits, remember a C, what's a C? A C is a 1, 1, 0, 0. If I flip the bits, I'm going to get 0, 0, 1, 1, 3. And if I add 1, 4, so that actually is a negative 4. Okay. And let's see, why don't we uh, come down to here and do quad F E. Well, if you f E is, uh, what, 1, 1, 1, 0, if you flip the bits there, you get a whole bunch of zeros and one. You add one, you get two. So that is actually a negative two. So we should get a negative six. All right. Actually, let's make it a negative seven because that'll be a lot easier to see probably. So if I want a three, how would I do a three? That would be a D, wouldn't it? Yeah, because then a D would be two, three. Yeah. All right. So we should get a negative seven when we're done because we're going to add negative four to negative three. Well, let's do that. Simulator. Um, Reinitialize. Reload the file. Okay, this is the code I want. Actually, this is the code I want right here. Okay, so let's just hit F10 till we get down there. Okay, now, at this point, I'm going to load negative 4 into T1 and negative 3 into T2. So let's do that. Okay, let's go check T1 and T2. And there you go. I've got quad F, FFFC, quad F, FFFD. Okay. And now here is the moment uh, we've all been waiting for. Drum roll, please. Let's add two negative numbers. And we should get a negative 7. Okay, well, how do you flip that? If I flip those negative 7s, I'm going to get an 8 and I add 1. Well, let's go check out and see what that guy is equal to. All right. Let's go see. So yeah, I add quad F, FFFC to quad F, FFFD, and I get quad F, FFF9. Well, what's 9? 9 is 1, 0, 0, 1. If I flip the bits, I'm going to get 0, 1, 1, 0, which is 6, but I've got to add 1, which will make 6, 7, but it's a negative, so it's a negative 7. So yeah, it actually worked. Okay, we added negative 4 to negative 3, and T3 had negative 7. Got to remember, everything in this computer is done in 2's complement. All right? Okay, that ends uh, the, the addition. Um, stay tuned, and we'll see you next time.